Good morning, Orlando. Um, you know, I always hear that bio, and let me explain to you what it is I really do for a living. For example, I was in uh, Dallas uh, two days ago at the uh, Gaylord Dallas uh, Hotel speaking to 2,300 mayors, and I finally figured out, you know, having done this for 20 years, here's what I really do for a living. I go out and I talk to large groups of hungover people. Um, I'm lucky I've got you on the very first day. You know, you're fresh, you're, you're, you're ready to go. Now, now, I start every single presentation, regardless of whom I'm speaking to, with three observations. I, I have a lot of statistics and do a lot of research, a lot of insight into what's going on with a lot of different industries, but there are three statistics that have really stuck with me that will help to bring you into my world of a very fast future. The very first statistic comes from a study that was done in Australia of the education system. They look, looked at how quickly careers are changing, skills are changing. They've come to the conclusion that 65% of kids who are in preschool today, kindergarten or grade one, will work in jobs or careers that do not yet exist. Think about that. I mean, that's a staggering number. But let me spin that around and put it in perspective in another way. How many of you today are carrying around smartphones that have GPS capability built into them? Hold up your hands. Almost everybody, right? Because smart, smartphones are the new fashion. You don't want to be seen as a loser with an old clunker of a phone. And think about what is happening here. You've got GPS in your pocket. And we are witnessing the emergence of a profession of people known as location intelligence professionals. Think about what is happening. We've got GPS in our pocket. We've got the emergence of all these geographic oriented sites like Google Maps. And so we've got individuals who are writing these applications for mobile phones and for the world of business and for the world of leisure and for the world of camping which is coming to influence the decisions that campers might be making in terms of where they're staying. This is the emergence of a whole brand new career that has massive implications. Second observation comes from a study of the education system in the US. They've looked at how quickly science education is changing. And it is said if you're taking any type of degree today based upon science, so agriculture, engineering, architecture, anything medical, product design and engineering, half of what we learn in our very first year of a college or a degree program is obsolete or revised by the time we graduate. You know, think about that. And think about the rapid evolution of camping gear. Think about what is happening as science accelerates. And think about the, you know, the rapid changes you're witnessing with the gear the typical camper is bringing in to your location. Which brings us to the third observation. You know, I spent some time with a, with, with a company in the di digital camera space. And the CEO said to me, look, this industry is moving so fast. You know, we figure when we bring a typical digital camera to the marketplace, we got about three to six months to sell it before it's obsolete. Because the next generation of digital camera, you know, just changes so darn much. And that's why one of my future, you know, favorite observations comes from the global media magnate Rupert Murdoch. You know, he observed years ago. That if you think about what is happening, you know, we're in a situation right now in which the world is changing so fast. You know, there's so many things going on in terms of consumer behavior, in terms of technology, in terms of social networking, in terms of everything, that the future doesn't necessarily belong, you know, to big organizations. It belongs to the fast. It belongs to those who can scale. It belongs to those who can adapt to these fast rates of change. And this is what I find myself doing, you know, in helping some of the world's largest organizations around the world understand how to deal with high-velocity change. 